असलम वेलकम टू अवर चैनल पॉटनी विथ यू ट्यूब टुडे आई एम हेयर अ पेस्ट्री स्कॉलर आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ टॉपिक मिजल्स एंड मप्स कॉन्टेंट मिजल्स मिजल्स सिम्टम्स कॉजिस एस मिजल्स एयरबोर्न एस मिजल्स कंटेक्यूस Measles during pregnancy, in adult, in babies, complication, treatment and prevention methods of measles. Mumps. What is mumps? Symptoms of mumps. Treatment, complications, prevention, test and diagnosis. M M R vaccine side effects, preventing the spread of mumps. Measles is caused by a single stranded enveloped RNA virus with one serotype. It is classified as a member of the genus Morbillus virus. Humans are only natural host of measles virus. Measles is a very viral infection. that start in the respiratory system it still remain a significant cause of death worldwide despite the availability of a safe effective vaccine measles diagram you can observe here the patient of measles botany with youtube is our channel if you are new in our channel then please try to subscribe our channel firstly and press the bell icon button for getting the notification of our next video measles symptoms symptoms of measles generally first appear within 10 to 12 days of exposure to the virus they includes dry cough fever running nose red eyes sore throat white spots inside the mouth a white spread skin rash is a classic sign of measles this rash can last up to 7 days and generally appear within 14 days of exposure to the virus it commonly develop on the head and slowly spread to other part of the body measles symptoms you can observe here in diagram fever of 38 degree celsius or greater than it cough running nose rashes loss of appetite etc causes of measles measles is caused by infection with a virus from the paramexo virus family virus are tiny uh, parasitic microbes once you have been infected the virus invades host cell and use cellular component to complete its life cycle The measles virus infect the respiratory tract first however it eventually spread to other part of the body through the blood stream measles is only known to occur in humans not in other animals there are 24 known genetic type of measles although only 6 are currently circulating measles symptoms and prevention it is prevented by a vaccine mmrv is measles airborne yes measles can be spread through the air from respiratory droplet and small aerosol particles an infected person can release the virus into the air when they cough or sneeze 
these respiratory particles can also settle on object and surface you can become infected if you come into contact with contaminated object such as door handle and the touch your face nose or mouth the measles virus can live outside of the body for longer than you may think in fact it can remain infectious in the air or on surface for up to 2 hours is measles contagious measles is highly contagious this means that infection can spread very easily from person to person susceptible person that exposed to the measles virus has a 90% chance of becoming infected additionally an infected person can go on spread the virus to anywhere between 9 and 18 susceptible individuals a person that has measles can spread the virus to others before they even know that they have it. An affected person is contagious for four days before the characteristics rash appear. After the rash appear, they are still contagious for another four days. Measles Dichrom symptoms prevention What me with YouTube is our channel share our channel share our videos with your other friends colleagues and researchers Measles during pregnancy Pregnant women who don't have immunity to measles should take care to avoid exposure during their pregnancy. Coming down with measles during your pregnancy can have significant negative health effect on both the mother and fetus. Pregnant women are an increased risk for complications for measles such as pneumonia additionally having measles while pregnant can lead to falling pregnancy complication miscarriage return labor low birth weight still birth measles in adults although it's often associated with childhood illness adult can get measles too. People who are not vaccinated are at higher risk of catching the disease. It's generally accepted that adults born during or before 1957 are naturally immune to measles. This is because the vaccine was first licensed in 1963. Before then, most people had been naturally exposed to the infection by their adolescents years and become immune as a result. According to Center for Disease Control and Prevention, serious complications are not only more common in young children but also in adults over the age of 20. Measles in babies The measles vaccine is not given to children until they are at least 12 months old. Before receiving their first dose of the vaccine is the time they are most vulnerable to being infected with the measles virus. Babies receive some protection from measles through passive immunity which is provided from mother to children through the placenta and during breastfeeding. However, research trusted source has shown that this immunity can be lost in just over 2.5 months after birth. 
or the time breastfeeding is discontinued. Children under 5 years of age are more likely to have. You can observe here in diagram. Measles prevention in babies. Complications of measles may include air infection one of the most common complication of measles is a bacterial air infection and measles may lead to inflammation of your voice box inflammation of inner wall that line the main air passage of your lungs pneumonia is a common complication of measles people with Compromised immune system can develop especially dangerous variety of pneumonia that is sometimes fatal. Treatment for measles There is no specific treatment for measles unlike bacterial infection. Viral infections are not sensitive to antibiotics. The virus symptoms typically disappear in about 2 or 3 weeks. There are some interventions available for people who may have been exposed to virus. These can help prevent an infection or lessen its severity. They include a measles vaccine given within 72 hours of exposure. A dose of immune protein can immunoglobin take within 6 days of exposure. Other prevention method not everyone can receive the measles vaccination but there are other ways that you can help to prevent the spread of measles if you are susceptible to infection practice good hand hygiene wash your hand before eating after using the bathroom and before touching your face mouth or nose don't share personal item with people who may be ill this can include things like eating utensils, drinking glass and toothbrush. Avoid coming into contact with people who are sick if you are sick with measles. Measles prevention. Prevention, vaccine, immunification, washing hand, medical mask. What is MUPS? MUPS is a contagious disease caused by a virus that passes from one person to another through saliva, nasal secretion and close personal contact. Condition primarily affect the salivary gland also called the parotid glands. These glands are responsible for producing saliva. There are three set of salivary gland on each side of your face located behind and below your ears. The hallmark symptoms of MUPS is swelling of salivary glands. MUPS you can observe here the swollen parotid glands. Symptoms of MUPS Symptoms of MUPS usually appear within two weeks of exposure to the virus. Few like symptoms may be the first to appear including fatigue, body itches, headache, loss of appetite, low grade fever, pain inside of face where it is swollen, pain experienced when swelling, trouble swelling, fever. Sign and symptoms you can observe here in diagram fever, headache, loss of appetite, muscles itches, tiredness. Treatment for MUPS Because MUPS is a virus, it does not respond to antibiotics or other medications. However, you can treat to symptoms make yourself more comfortable while you're, you are sick. This includes rest when you feel weak or tired, take over the counter pain relievers such as Abubrufin, 
to bring down your fever soothe swollen gland by applying ice pack drink plenty of fluid to avoid the dehydration during the fever eat a soft drink or diet yogurt and other food that are not hard to chew treatment of mumps what me with youtube is our channel like our channel like our videos and if you have any question related to our topic you can ask us in comment section and you can share your point of view related to our topic in comment section complications of mumps complication from mumps are rare but can be seriously if left untreated mumps mostly affect the parotid glands however it can also cause inflammation in other areas of the body including the brain and reproductive organs inflammation of testicles that may be due to mumps you can manage pain by placing cold pack on the testicles several time per day your doctor may recommend some pain killer if necessary in rare cases female infected with mumps may experience swelling of the ovaries the inflammation can be painful but does not harm prevention of mumps vaccination can prevent mumps most infected and children receive a vaccine for measles mumps and mmr at the same time the first mmr shot is generally given between the age of 12 and 15 mouth at routine well child visit a second vaccination is necessary for school age children between 4 and 6 year old with two doses the mumps vaccine is approximately 88% effective the rate of effectiveness of only one dose is about 78% adult who were born before 1957 have not yet con uh, contracted mumps may wish to be vaccinated those who work in a high risk environment such as hospital or schools should always be vaccinated against mumps however people who have compromised immune system are allergic to gelatin or neomycin or pregnant should not receive the mmr vaccine consult your family doctor about a immunization schedule for you and your children test and diagnosis of mumps normally mumps can be diagnosed by its symptom alone especially by examining the facial swelling a doctor might also check inside the mouth to see the position of tonsils when infected with mumps a person tonsils can get pushed to the side take the patient temperature take a sample of blood urine saliva to confirm diagnosis take a sample of csf from the spine for testing this is usually only severe cases the patient has had an allergic reaction to some antibiotics or gelatins the patient is pregnant or soon to be pregnant mmr vaccine side effects most people given the mmr vaccine do not suffer, suffer side effects and the disease itself cannot be contracted from the vaccine a small percentage might develop a rash or fever and possibly itches in their joints less than 1 in a million will suffer a severe allergic reaction from the mmr vaccine side effect of mmr preventing the spread of mumps there are a number of precautions that help prevent the spread of infection 
these are washing hand with water and soap frequently not going into work school until 5 days after the symptoms start converting the nose and mouth mouth with a tissue when sneezing or coughing keep from spreading mumps prevention of mumps spreading don't share things that saliva on them cover your cough and sneeze stay home when you sick wash your hand after with soap and water clean and disinfect surface conclusion measles and mumps are infections caused by similar viruses they are both very contagious meaning they easily spread from person to person measles and mumps mostly affect children measles can make you feel like you have a bad cold or flu it will also cause a flat red rash mumps like measles is a disease caused by an rna virus classified in the paramexo variety family unlike measles mumps belong to the rubella virus genus it is a human disease with no animal reservoirs thanks to visit our channel thanks for your concentration for your attention good luck allah hafiz